Hello, class. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, how is the game? <laughs> How is the game in this moment? Is anybody, I don't know. Wa I don't is anybody watch. watching? You're not watching the game? No, I don't watch the game. I am I, not watching the game. I'm not, I'm not watching the, the game, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not watching the game. I dislike the football. Yeah. But, but, but yeah. I mean, what is that about audio? You know, it's how was how was your day today? For me, well. Good evening. Um, good evening. Did anybody do anything special today? Hello, did anyone do anything special today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Did anybody do anything special today? Uh, for me, not. My day was uh, normally. normally. You work but... You work from home, correct, Miriam? Yes. What is it that you do? I'm sorry, I forget. Um, I have my own business. Oh, yes. Uh, una tienda. What kind of store? Uh, um, I sell uh, different something, some, uh -huh, something. Oh, it's like it's uh, like a normal two, store. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You sell oh, two okay. Are sold, uh, eggs. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh, Etc. I have a question. Tell me. What What is a good profit? I mean, something that you sell that is is a it gives you good money. Mm -hmm. Because I hear that in a churro, in a tira, you only make, I don't know, 30, 40 cents. I don't know. Uh, Where is the money? Um, could you repeat me, please? OK, let me give an example. Mm -hmm. OK. My aunt, mm -hmm. dear, she had mm -hmm. a diner. Do you know what is a diner? Diner, diner. Um... There's remember. dinner, dinner. El with, comedor, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Dinner is two ends. Diner is one. Okay. So she had a diner and she sold food. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I visited her, I helped her. Mm -hmm. I served the drinks. And I always tell people, what do you want to drink? Uh, fresco or, or, or soda? But I was thinking that con las horas más cara, more money. And my aunt said, no, 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 fresco, fresco, fresco. That's where the money is. Because there's more, more profit. Profit is ganancia. Mm -hmm. In a uh, cote uh -huh. or mango juice, fresco and mango or something, mm -hmm. than in the soda. Mm -hmm. Because she told me, mira, con este melón, I bought two melones for one dollar. <laughs> I put it in the water. I put a lot of sugar. I don't know, 50, 50. And I vendo dos cada uno. Wow, man, that's good money. And a soda, I only make 5 cents. Mm -hmm. And that's good money. And a soda, I only make 5 cents for the soda. So it's logic. In a store, where is the money? You are on mute. For example, uh, in in my case, um, I I I watch the uh, how do you say ganancias? The the profit. I see the profit. I see the profit. Uh, for example, in in the eggs. In the eggs. Oh, okay. In the eggs. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And the eggs and, and the uh, pan dulce. Sweet bread. Sweet, sweet bread. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, do you know Santa Anita? Yes, I know. Have you ever been to that bakery, una panaderia in Santa Anita? Mm. By the church? Uh, uh -huh. Oh, man. If you... <laughs> Maybe at three, at two or three in the afternoon, mm -hmm. the complete Santanita huele a pan dulce. Like, ah, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I it's know. so good. And all the, all the women that sell in Canasto, I was, uh -huh. yo a veces voy, amo. can I have one marquesote en pedazo? No, solo vendemos entero. Okay, can I have one, one semita? And I buy many, many, many things. Uh -huh. how, how much? I know, but. Uh -huh. Yeah, ¿Cuánto, cuánto le debo? Um, dos setenta. What? Yes. Really? Two seventy? It's, it's, it's cheaper. It's very, very cheap. Yes. That's why, that's why many, many women or men too, uh -huh. they go and buy the, the bread. Mm -hmm. El pan dulce. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what? Tomorrow <laughs> I am going to go. Tomorrow I will go. Okay. <laughs> Look. And what is the name of your store? Uh, Bendición de Dios. Bendición de Dios. Okay. All right. Really, it's a, a blessing of God. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yes. Okay. Are you are you a religious person? Yes. Ah uh, yes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I am not very religious. <laughs> no, no more questions. No, 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 I was just okay. <laughs> Yes. Hey, Lisette, you're back. <laughs> Who lived in Santa Anita? Excuse me? Who lived in Santa Anita? Who, oh, you, you live in Santa Anita? No. Quien vive in Santa Anita? Oh, no, my aunt. The, the, my aunt, the, the lady that had the diner. Uh. <laughs> yeah, she, so I, that's why I remember. Uh, oh, do you know, no. do you know, do you know Santa Anita, Lisette? No, I, um, I go to the um, chief in Cruz Verde, Santa Anita. What, you go there or you live there? What? I'm sorry, I didn't understand what happened with Cruz Verde, Santa Anita. Yes. So, como se dice eh, voluntario? Oh, you're a volunteer. Uh, yes. Oh, really? You're a volunteer for the Green Cross? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Santa Anita. I don't know. What is Santa Anita? It's a neighborhood, or, or I don't know. Yes. Uh, okay. Do you remember, uh, maybe you don't remember, but many, many years ago, a bus from church, se fue en un puente, un bus, en uh, iglesia. La Elim. Yeah. Yeah, Elim Church. That was ah, near. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> that was near Santa Anita. Sí, sí, casi que enfrente está, está la base de Santa Anita. Yes, you, you, uh -huh, you're very close. Yeah, I live a little close to there, to the, well, I live in Vista, in Vista Hermosa, but it's close. Uh, Vista Hermosa is a, a good, uh, a good place for live. It's, it's nice. Yeah, there's uh, no maras. <laughs> I, um, I live in, in Montserrat. Uh-huh. You live uh, in Montserrat in this moment? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, um, quiero ver, 20 years ago. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, but yeah. this place I like. Yes, Montserrat is, what I like about Montserrat is it's, there's it's everything. Nice. Yes, they're, they're mm -hmm. neighbors. Mm -hmm. But in Montserrat, there's everything. There's yuca, tol, everything. Ah, yes. Mercadito. Yes. So it's cool. What about anybody? Uh, uh, do you have your bit? Well, except Guzman, because he has like 10. Somebody else, do you have your own business? Tienen su propio negocio, alguien? Yes. Lisa, really? What do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, I 
have the uh, filters for uh, carburate, carburetor? <laughs> Carburetors, yes. Carburetor. Mm -hmm. Is that your business? I mean, for this is um, family this is, business. Uh, family. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Carburetors, hey, the filters. Hey, that's good to know. That's good. And where is your business? Uh, come? Where is your business? Do you have a place or you do it online? Oh, no. Uh, it's in Santo Tomas. Uh, okay. In my, my house. <laughs> okay, it's in your house. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, great. Uh -huh. Where do you live in Santo Tomas? What is the name of where you live? Okay. Lisette, are you there? Uh, oh. Yes, uh, los escuché bien cortado, pero más eh, o menos lo entendí. The name of where you live in Santo Tomás, what is the name? La Colonia? Mm. No, no, eh, eh, is this filtros universales? Universal filtros. No, 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 el nombre de la colonia, eh, where you live. Ah, chips. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, final Quinta Guadalupe, Lucificación Nueva Jerusalén. Ah, pues no. Oh, no. I have a, uh, one of my best friends, he lives in Santo Tomás. Uh, the, la más común es la San Jose. Y, y, uh -huh, y la Morán. Son las más comunes. I think Mor Morán is nice houses, correct? Uh -huh, sí, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went, but I, I went two times, but at night, porque se acaba de ir ahí a su común. What do you know? Do you know Roberto Acosta uh, from from or, uh, Llévatelo del de TCS? Ah, uh, no, no sé. Sí. Oh, o puede but, ser en, en Sierra Verde. Es no, una residencial. Uh, I don't know, but but it's nice. The the, the place is very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, class. So, what did we practice yesterday? Do you remember? Wood. Wood and will. And will. And will. En buen salvadoreño, ¿qué es will? Re, ora. Yes. Ara, ere, o, uh, you know, terminación de ara en el verbo, right? Correct? Yeah. Yes. Ore. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, si yo digo, I am going to eat, or I will eat. I will eat. I will eat. ¿Qué dije? I will eat. Comeré. 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 Y si digo, I am going to eat. Voy a comer. Voy a comer. What is the difference? Voy a comer y comeré. Eh, What is the difference? Voy a comer. En el momento va a comer y en la otra tiene programado ir a comer. But I, I don't know, but that uh, uh, I'm going sorry. to eat for a... Uh, I'm sorry, no, mí, nunca dije ir. Nunca oh. dije go. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no le culpo. Eh, nosotros tenemos, no sé si solo el español salvadoreño, pero los salvadoreños decimos ir para todo. Voy a ir a ver, me voy, voy a ir, ir a bañar, voy a ir a comer, everything. Everything in, is go, 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 uh -huh. go, go. <laughs> And in English, no. No, okay, pero so es not... buir. Buir, <laughs> buir, <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, buir. In, like in English, you don't say, I am going to go to shower. You only say one verb. I am going to take a shower. Teacher. I, yes. I know, but the going to is for a, 
near future, right? But for a fair future is the will, right? That the action okay. is not uh, doing it right now. I am going to look at the chat class. I am going to, and I will. Do you see the chat? Yes. The two yes. are future. The two are future, correct? Yes. So I am. So for example, I am going to, and the verb, I am going to eat. Correct? Voy a, yo voy a comer. No voy a ir a comer. No, voy a comer. I will eat. Yo comeré. Comeré. What is the difference in Spanish? ¿Qué es la diferencia? Hey, los dos son futuros. Uno es para futuro cercano y el otro para cosas que voy a hacer después. O no sé, o sea, cosas, el going to, pienso que es para cosas que voy a hacer ya. Eh, digamos, por ejemplo, voy a tomar agua, pero, o sea, voy a tomar un vaso de agua, pero ahorita, digamos, así como decimos nosotros, lo voy a hacer. Okay. En cambio, el voy a comer, por ejemplo, podría ser al terminarse la clase. No pero sé. puedo decir. O sea, el co comeré. Comer, decir, por ejemplo, I am going to go to Disneyland next year and I will go to Disneyland next year. The two are correct. No, but good, good. Cesar, I, I, I see your point. Teacher, and going to is for plans uh, for the future um, and will is planned for the near future. It's right. Uh, let me see. Here, let me tell you this. A veces la diferencia is not important. A veces es lo mismo, it's the same. Tomorrow I will eat and tomorrow I'm going to eat. There's no problem. But sometimes the difference is very, very big. Yes, sometimes the difference is very big. For example, Ustedes han visto cuando en películas proponen matrimonio, el hombre a la mujer o la mujer al hombre. Hoy en día, hombre a hombre o mujer a mujer. You know. <laughs> hey, yes, hay que modernizarnos. Pero ya han visto cómo proponen matrimonio. ¿Cómo um, I will get married. With, uh, I will get married. No, siempre dicen, will you marry me? Ah, we, okay, okay. Will That you question. marry me? Uh -huh. And then the answer is yes, I will. Yes, I will. Uh -huh. Are you going to marry me? So that in a situation like that is when the difference is very big. Why? Because will is a promise. Will is a promise. O compromise. Hey, ¿quién va a traer el hielo para la fiesta? Who's going to bring the ice?
Class, who's going to bring the ice? Miriam they will go. Jose? Miriam will be. Maybe Miriam. <laughs> Wait. Uh, <laughs> I think I can dijo I will. I will go. Okay, I will. Jose, Carlos, thank you. Um, Jose says, I will. So let's see, dijo Jose, I will. I will buy it, buy it. Uh, I will buy it, I will take it. ¿Qué acaba de ser Carlos? Se, Se acaba de comprometer. Mm, yes. Se acaba de comprometer. Ahora recuerden que los compromisos tienen muchos niveles de seriedad, right? O sea, important, very important, or not important. Mm. Yeah. Pero in the party, in the party. Uh, uh, teacher, but he, he decided. Yes, he decided, yes. He compromised. Él solo se comprometió. O sea que if in, in the party teacher. there's no ice, it's Jose. Jose, what did he say? I will I, I, take the ice. I'm sorry, uh, Guzman, go ahead. Um, um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure um, about the, uh, how to explain that, but I think that will I gonna use when I 100% sure that I will do it. Will if is I'm a compromise. 100% sure. Yeah, I know that it's a compromise, but uh, I, I don't know if can I use I I will or I will. I, I okay, let me see. When you when you got married, compromise? when you got married, you told your wife, "I will love you forever." Correct. All right. Are you one hundred percent that you will love your wife forever? Forever, no. Oh, that maybe, but yes, but you never know what happens in the future. Maybe something, maybe, and this is an example, okay, Guzman, maybe you will get divorced. Yeah. Maybe, you know, but in that moment, you were, yes, you were very sure that you compromise yourself. Because, puede estar 100% seguro, pero eso no significa que va a pasar. Like, like Jose Carlos. You say, hey, que matar el hielo. Who will bring the ice to the party? Jose Carlos said, I will. He is positive. He is 100% sure. Por eso, hey, yo. But what happens if Saturday he has to work? Or he gets Onicron, Municron, whatever. Yes. So, um, do you understand, Guzman? Is You're... You can be very positive. You can be very 100% sure. But no necessarily va a suceder, you know. Yeah. Like my I'm friends. I have a friend, un amigo que se comprometieron hace como cinco años. Y no se casan. It was like this big show with a party, you know. How will you marry me? Yes, I will. Pero ya no creo que se van a casar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you understand? Yeah, so I listen. Miriam said something that was correct. Going to is a plan. Mm -hmm. It's a plan. Pregúnteme cuándo. Hey, class, I'm going to get married. When? Um, I don't know, maybe next year or maybe in five years. But I'm going to get married. I love my girlfriend. Only it's a plan. It's only a plan. For the, for the future. Uh -huh. Pero si yo vengo, uh -huh. hey, class, um, I will get married. Your plan is... Uh, no, but is, listen, uh, now, now it's not a plan. A class. Uh, September 4, I will get married in Barcelona Hotel. 
Um, so, promise. Um, compromise. Y hay compromiso. Esa fecha es ahora. Y ese lugar. Ahora, pero de aquí a, a September, many things can change, you know. Mi prima, she, 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 pobrecita, man, she got, because of the COVID, she was going to get married, she, you know, boom, and like a rato can cancel, 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 because, like, she was going to get married one week after Naive closed. Cuando se cerró el país, después de los tres meses, eh, eh, lo alargaron los tres meses, otros tres, otros tres, que en contra que pensé que no se iban a casar. Y, but they got married. <laughs> but um, that's the thing. So uh, it wasn't a plan, it was a compromise. Imagine. Okay. Yes. For example, uh, for example, we are going to graduate. Our, uh, our, o sea, nosotros, we, we, we are mm -hmm. going to graduate. Uh, for, uh, in English. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. When? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It depends. It depends. Mm -hmm. So yes. So listen, when you say going to, it's a plan. When you say will, it's a compromise. The compromise, maybe it's not very important or sometimes it's very important. For example, we will, uh, we will graduate, graduate in English, in English in, uh, in December this year. Okay, yes, in December yeah. this year. If everything in a perfect world, if everything goes well in December. El compromiso nuestro y el de ustedes es December. Pero we don't know, maybe Unicrom or Megatron or no sé cómo se llaman estas cosas. Decepticons. Decepticon, they will change plans. So listen, um, imagine Friday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday is my sister's quinceañera. Do you think for me that's an important event? Yes, it's my sister. It's my sister. So it's very, very difficult for me to change plans Saturday. Si vienen todos ustedes me dicen, teacher, nos vamos a reunir todos en, 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 en the restaurant Saturday. Oh, yeah, when? Saturday. Oh, I can't. Why? Because Saturday I will go, I will be in a quinceañera. So I, I, I personally, I am compromised Saturday. Do you understand? Guzman, do you understand? Yeah. All right. So then that's it. And I understand what Guzman is trying to say. Like, I am very positive. I am very sure. Yes, but nothing is guaranteed. <laughs> no está garantizado, right? And look, Guzman, look what happened to my cousin. Y pobrecita, sabes de que el, el, el esposo de ella es chino. Y estaba de moda hace como un año y medio. O sea, toda la familia de él iba a venir a El Salvador, desde China. Al, al, y era hace como un año, año y medio que estaba de moda que todo el mundo odiaba a los chinos por el COVID. Y yo le dije a mi prima, you know, no creo que va a ser buena idea. You know, for... Why, me dice? Van a quemar el hotel y me cuando vean chinos, like, oh my God, chinos, chinos, chinos. So now it's no problem, right? Pero en ese entonces. So what happened? Um, yeah. my, 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 my cousin, she didn't cancel. No, 
she postponed for three months. COVID bigger, she postponed another three months, another three months, another three months, but she got married. Okay. All right. For example, Lisette Flores, she says it's voluntary. She works in the Green Cross. She's a volunteer. Voluntary, right? Entonces, ella está ahí de su voluntad. Will. Okay, let me see. Um, Aida. Yes. Sunday, I am going to go to my son's kindergarten graduation, or Sunday, I am I will go to my son's kindergarten for graduation. Um, you are the going... two are correct. But the, yes. the two are correct. But for in your opinion, which is more correct? Is um, going to because it's your son. So it's a plan. It's a plan. Yes. Okay. What about for the rest of the class? Do you think I, it's will or going to? I think going to is more a possibility to happen than will, maybe. No, al contrario. Teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, Miriam? <clears throat> I think you will go to. You will uh, go. Uh -huh, you will go to the, the graduate. Yes. Well, Why? Uh -huh. Why? What is will? It's, a compro it's your compromise. It's a compromise. Uh -huh. Or it's a promise. Yes. For me, Sunday va a ser bien difícil uh -huh. que alguien me saque de ese espacio. Because it's an important day for you. Because it's important uh -huh. for me, I'm compromised. Uh -huh. So if you tell me, uh, hey, can we have breakfast Sunday morning? No, I can't because I will go to my son's graduation. Yes, but uh, the two are correct. I'm thinking uh, the two are perfectly correct. But remember what I told you, sometimes the difference is not important, but sometimes it's important. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's continue the machine. Let me see. Teacher. Yes. I can hear the uh, I can hear the cricket now. <laughs> Uh, no, do you, do you, do I see my screen? Yes. You see yes. my screen? All right. Homero Simpson. <laughs> yeah, Homer. He's my favorite. I love Homer Simpson so much. Go. Go. I love Homer Simpson. Yo me quería tatuar Homer Simpson. Me lo voy a tatuar someday. He's my favorite cartoon. Okay, uh, put the words in, in the correct order. 
Okay, it says, number one, Come really, on. Seoul is fascinating city. Ah, What do you think is the correct order? And the second option. The second one. Uh -huh. Seoul is really a fascinating city. Number two. It, and Peru country is just inter interesting is extremely. Here. Peru is an extremely interesting country. Maybe and someday, someday I would like to go to Peru. Number three, me too, four is Taipei expensive. What is the correct? The last one. The last. Why not this one? Why? Why? Because the capital or the capital letter. The capital letter. At the, at, the, at the beginning. Yes, excellent. The capital letter. Circle the correct word. Okay, it says circle the correct word. New York City is very exciting, but it's stressful. Stressful. Lisbon is an interesting city and it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Tokyo is safe. It's a safe city. It's crowd. crowded. 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 My hometown is pretty boring. It's very relaxing. Relaxing. It's very relaxing, however. Good. All right. Next, it says complete the sentence using should, shouldn't, or can't. This city can be dangerous at night. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. Stay out too late. You blank travel by subway late at night. You there can't. are you okay. can't good. Okay. In El Salvador, can you take plastic? I'm um, sorry, public transportation at night. Yeah. Yes, at night, yes, but very, very late at night. No, right? I see on uh, around 10 p.m., 9 or, or 10 Maybe 9, 10 p.m. possible. Okay, good. Yeah. In Hong Kong, the weather is best in the fall. You? Should. Sure. You should go there then. Match the problem with the advice. Can you do number one, Mr. Guzman? Okay, can you do number one, um, Jose Isaias? Uh, in the option three, take some aspirin. Okay, so can you read number one, a fever? A fever. Mm -hmm. Take some aspirin. Thank you. Number two, Yancy. Uh, sunburn. Uh, a sunburn. Use a heading pad. Yes. Heating pad. Heating pad. Do you know what is a heating pad? No. Um, 
try these lotions. Try this lotion. Yeah, porque heating pad es como un trapo de calefacción. Y si usted tiene una quemadura de sol, no creo que es lo que se quiere poner. Uh, okay. Try this lotion. Good. Oh, miren, nosotros en español salvadoreño, no sé si en otros españoles, pero para decir, para, para mujeres es perfume. Para hombres es loción, ¿verdad? Pero está mal dicho porque realmente para hombres es colonia. So in English, por ejemplo, eternity. It's not eternity lotion, it's eternity cologne. Okay, eternity cologne. Colonia. Lotion es crema. So, a sunburn, so please, um, Yancy. Okay. Number two, please. Try this lotion. Try this lotion, good. Anna Lisette, can you do number four? So, sore muscles is mm. the heating pad. You say heating pad, yes. Mm -hmm. Number four, Noemi. Uh, option two. But can you read a toothache? Can you read the example number four, please, Noemi? Noemi, please, can you read a toothache? Okay, Jose. I, I have two. I have to taste. Good. I Eso feel quería... to. I feel to take. No, simplemente diga a toothache. Perdón, la pronunciación. Sí, pero es que el problema es que no me preguntan, o sea, no me dicen, no sé cómo se dice, no sé qué es. De un solo. I no do you diciendo. say? Yes, thank you. Dolor de muelas. Okay, listen, please. Toothache. Toothache. I feel toothache. Ache, uh huh. Toothache. Toothache. Okay, and what is See the solution? Sí, correct. See a dentist. Very good. Dentists are crazy people. <laughs> no, really, man. Dentists are really crazy people. My my wife is a dentist. Y, man, no, really, son clavados, man. Y, y no son mi esposa, ya me di cuenta, todos sus amigos. Like, if I eat a minuta, no como a minuta que te va a templar los dientes. Like, um, or I eat a can, cuidado, esos dulces. Man. Mi hijo jamás va a comer dulces. You're crazy, man. ¿Qué quieres ponerle piñata, en, eh, brócoli en la piñata? ¿Quieres que lo hagan de pato al pobre? <laughs> no, pero son enclavados. And, and she, she, speaks, she speaks English. A little. Um. But like, um, you know, a normal person, you get a bag, like a churro bag, and <laughs> she says, no, yeah. no, don't. <laughs> a veces por enojarla, yo abro una cerveza, pero con el... <laughs> Pero la tapo, right? Y digo, hey, look, baby. No. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so, ahí está, toothache. <laughs> All right, so let's do the next. Um, I think El Salvador lost, right? I don't know. Okay. Claudia Alfaro, are you there? Yes. Um, 
Can you do number one, please, here? Number one is a bottle. No, but no class. No, 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 no. Quiero que, ¿se acuerdan que les dije el primer día de clases? Si solo me van a dar, me van a responder con palabras, nunca van a aprender a hablar. Nunca, oh. de verdad. No, no, y no solo usted, Claudia, no sé si usted está en el primer día de clases, pero digo, ese es un mal que tenemos los salvadoreños. Si yo les digo en español, ¿qué tal clase? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? El salvadoreño contesta como, nada, tranquilo. Mi casa. Nunca contestamos, o sea, sí o no, a veces sí contestamos. ¿Qué tal que hicieron el fin de semana? Mi casa. So, <ríe> en inglés no pueden decir eso, my house. A veces ni contestamos, a veces, hey, ¿qué tal el fin de semana? Yes, no, pero aquí number one es, what do you have for a cold pharmacist? Take this boom of vitamin C. Take one. Uh, Say it complete. Yes, so Claudia, can you do number one, please? Elisa Riva, can you do number one, please? It's very difficult when you don't have cameras. No sé si están bien. Okay, uh, solo gente con cámara. ¿Quién está aquí? Yes. Okay, Elisa, thank you. Can you do number one, please? Y era mí, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes, Elisa uh, Flores. Elisa Flores. Okay. 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 What do you have for a call? Mm -hmm. Pharmacy, take this bottle of vitamin C, take one. Okay, good. But look, but le faltó customer. What do you have for a cold? Pharmacist, take this bottle of vitamin C. Take one every day. Remember, uh, también tienen que leer los puntos, comas y todo, yes? Yes. So uh, can you repeat again, please, Lisette? Where's Lisette? Oh, there she is. Okay, I don't uh, see every day. <laughs> no, that's no, okay. So. <laughs> so can you repeat number one, please? Okay, what do you have for a cold pharmacy? Take this bottle of vitamin C, takes one every day. Ok, uh, lo único que, bueno, ok, thank you. Pero aquí tenía que haber interactuado porque hay dos personas en esta conversation, right? Yes. Hay un customer, hay un pharmacist. Yeah. So number one, lo voy a repetir, number one, customer. What do you have for a cold? Pharmacist. Take this bottle of vitamin C. Take one every day. Do you understand, Chris? Yeah. 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 Acuérdense que también parte de hablar un idioma tienen que aprender a leer sus, la, los puntos, comas, interrogativos, porque si lo leen así, customer, what do you have for a cold pharmacist? Take this bottle of vitamin C, take one every day. It's like, what? <laughs> yes. <Teacher>. Yes. <laughs> Who is it? I'm sorry, Claudia? Um, oh, you're back. Yes, okay. please, please. Thank you, Claudia. Number two. Okay. Number two, customer. Can I have something for green skin? Dry Pharmacy. skin. Dry skin. Pharmacies. I, I suggest this part of ham cream apple. Some every morning. Okay, very good. Uh, number one, uh, Claudia, is I suggest. 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 Okay. Okay, this jar, it's not hot, it's jar. 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 Do you know what is a jar? 
Um, like a tarro, no? Or... Literalmente, sí, una jarra. 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 Very eh, pero son como esos botes grandes, ¿va? como los tarros que le dicen, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. like. Es como okay. un frasco, ¿no? Algo así. Uh, Claudia Alfaro, ¿cuántos años? How old are you? Uh, excuse me? How old are you? Uh, 15. Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, 19. 19. Mm, yes. Do you drink beer? Sorry? Do you drink beer? Um, uh, okay, because the, 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 the reason for the question, I've never seen in Germany when they have the Oktoberfest. No. <laughs> bueno, los alemanes toman cerveza de un gran vaso. Que, okay. It's like, like a jar. pichel. Un it's pichel. like a pichel. It's a jar, yes. Ajá, uh -huh, pichel. Ajá, uh -huh. it's big. Yes. Una jarra. La, la razón que le pregunté, claro, si tomaba cerveza era porque a veces uno va a un bar y uno dice el vaso y la jarra. You know? What's the difference? Es el tamaño. <laughs> yes, the jar. Dicen, yo nunca he ido a esos lugares. Pero... Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. So a jar is something big. It's something big. Yeah. So uh, un frasco, la diferencia es, uh, Claudia, que un frasco puede ser pequeño también. How do you say frasco? Um... Bottle. Bottle. It's bottle. Oh, okay. It's a bottle. Or container. Contenedor también, container. Yes. Ah, nunca han visto en las tiendas que... Miriam, usted no vende los mangos así en, en agua. No. Okay. But those but, mangos... But I like it. Ah, me too, yeah. Sometimes in the stores you see mangos in a jar. In a big jar. In a big jar, yes. Oh yeah. man, yeah. green mangoes. Green mangoes with salt. With salt. Con oh. chile, con chile, curtiditos. Oh <laughs> man. And, yeah. they, and they crunch. Yeah, that's. So <laughs> okay, but, okay uh, thank you, Claudia. Do you understand now, Claudia Alfaro? Okay, number three. Cesar, can you do number three, please? Okay. Hey. Okay. Customer, may I have something sometime for a toothache? Pharmacies, of course. Try this um, tube of a special toothpaste. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, uh, okay. customer, may I have something? Something? To uh -huh. Okay. And toothache. Toothache, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, customer, may I have something for a toothache? Tooth, how, how do you say that? Toothache. Toothache, okay. Toothache pharmacy. pharmacies. Of course, try this tube of a special toothpaste. Good, a tube. Hey, you know what marcando. What was number one? Bottle. Bottle. Number two. Jar. 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 Number two. Two. All right. Jose Saez, number four, please. Okay, number four. Uh, customer, could I get something for a short throat pharmacist? Pharmacist again. <laughs> sure. Here is a pack of cough drops. They really work. Very good. I like that. Pharmacist. 
Pharmacist y Kev. Esa es de la plataforma. Ah, pero ahí sí no, no, no dice nada la plataforma. Ahí sí no nos dicen que está. It's wrong, it's not correct. Good. Do you know what is cough drops? Cough drops are like sorritones, holes. Así es el otro. Yes. But it's like a, a, a Vicks, a candy. Yeah, no, it's like a, a pill. No, it's not a pill. It's like a candy. Oh, uh, okay. I like sorritones or holes, <laughs> holes negros. <laughs> no, no. Uh, there are uh, sorritones. What? What? The, no. Uh, no, there are sorritones black. Really? Yeah. Oh, so man. it's in the black and or uh, uh, yellow. Um, I like eating the solitones. I didn't do this. Oh man, it's good. Yes. You know, you know what I recommend you that is very, very, very good when you have cough. Dos. Uh, Vicks vapor rub. Vicks el vaporu vapor rub. Pónganlo en un guacal. Todo. Sáquenlo en un guacal. Yes. Y échenle agua hirviendo. Yes. En, y cúbranse con una toalla. Yes. Y empiecen. Oh. That was really nice. It's really... <laughs> it is... No, it's, it's, ter it's, it's terapia. Yes. Uh -huh. Eso sí, el, el guacal ya nunca más lo van a usar porque nunca se quita el VIX, el, pero es muy bueno. Es muy bueno. Ajá. Hay una mesa. Ah. Ok. Sí, es el nombre. Es bueno, hermano. Tengo. Sí, es el nombre. Vaporización. <laughs> Yeah. Sí, vaporización, así se llama. Ah. De hecho, es una terapia eh, que se usa en naturopatía. Oh, really? Ajá, es una terapia para problemas respiratorios. Oh, good. Hey. Or I get VIX and I put it in my nose. <laughs> wow. No, es good too. Like all people. Arde, arde, pero después no se acostumbra. <laughs> Y se le olvida y se rasca los ojos. Yeah, but, uh, it, it will happen. It will happen. <laughs> but it's a good therapy. Yes. Okay. So good. Very good class. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Correct? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Nice. Thursday. Thursday. Palabra del día, ¿saben de dónde vienen las hamburguesas? Hamburger. No. El crustáceo cascarudo. Hamburg, Hamburg, Alemania. Germany. Pero fue invento de Estados Unidos. Pero eran por unos marineros de Hamburgo que miraban que eran tan, o no sé, o eran tan pobres o tan chucos o tan huevones. Pero ellos calentaban la carne en el motor del barco. Y la ponían en medio del pan y le ponían lechuga y tomate. Ya. Dicen que fueron los hermanos McDonald's, pero fueron unos antes de ellos. Vieron eso, like, hey, interesting. Yeah, that, that's really a good idea. I did, I did something like that um, because I was um, riding in a motorcycle around four or five hours. And I have, I got some tortillas and I decided to put Um, on on the motor, on my motorcycle. The and oh, man. Later, 
it was it was hot and it was really delicious. <laughs> wow, good idea. But I, but I did, I did, I did. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, so then the sailors from Hamburg, Cunevan in uh, New York. Yeah, la cosa es saber si no tenían, I don't know, but en el motor, in the engine, they put the meat, the grill. I eat hamburger, but I, I, I don't crazy for that, right? So uh, I am, I'm not crazy for that. I am a I am crazy not, hamburger person. I love hamburgers. I'm not crazy for that. I love but... hamburger, the Burger King. <laughs> no, you know what, Lisa? I recommend you go to a diners, uh, State's Diner. Do you know State's Diner? Where are you um, you should um, uh, no, Burger King. The... No, hold on. Do you know what is a diner? Saben que es un diner? No. Okay, it's that dinner. Dinner con dos genes. Mm -hmm. Si le quitamos una, se hace diner. Comedor. 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 Uh -huh. Han visto ustedes así en películas que hay dos restaurantes como dos are restaurants, uh, Burger King. Kentucky, pero han visto cuando entran como a un, comedor, a un comedor gringo, no, no un comedor de aquí que hay mesitas en la acera, ¿no? <ríe> you know? que, que entran y, y siempre piden coffee o pancakes. Nunca han visto en películas cuando entran a comedores. Yes, no, maybe. Uh, yes. Like the gas okay, station, good. like the like the gas station, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So. En el Paseo Unidad de Escalón, enfrente del Centro Comercial Paseo, creo que se llama ese Centro Comercial, hay un lugar que se llama State's Diner. Y son unos gringos, de hecho. Es buena onda porque ellos le dan trabajo a, a niños que fueron abandonados, órfanos, o iban en mal camino y todo. Entonces es como una fundación de ellos, pero es, es, tiene que ver con religión. Entonces estos gringos decidieron, esta familia se vino a vivir acá y aquí pusieron su iglesia, ¿no? su, su fundación y pusieron ese, ese negocio de State's Diner. Pero ustedes entran y es como que si están en un comedor gringo y toda la comida literalmente es gringa. O sea, the hamburger, o sea, ¿cómo se comen allá? Pues hamburgers con aro de cebolla, con el uh, pickles. Los pepinillos fritos, imagínense. And corn dogs. Es, es como ir a... Where is you, sir? En Paseo, Paseo Escalón. All right. Um, when you go up, okay, you go galerías, you pass Fuentes Beethoven. Yes. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going yeah. up. Yes. I pass galerías. Yeah. Yes. I pass Fuentes Beethoven's a little, little after Fuentes Beethoven, a la derecha. Bueno, bien chivo, cuando uno entra, right. tiene, tiene como un estilo de los 50s, like Elvis Presley. And, all. and the food good. is really, really good. It's really good. It's really good. I recommend you go there. It's, it's, it's good. Es comida gringa. <laughs> como Dennis. All right. They have hamburgers. Um, huevos con bistec <laughs> que parece raro pero para ellos no es súper chivo y también están ayudando a la fundación so. alright so All right. entonces hamburgers vienen de Hamburgo, Alemania la idea ok ok class thank you very much I'll see you tomorrow ok thank you teacher Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. You. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Thanks, Steve.